latest on September 13th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Tropical storm Kiko has formed in the eastern Pacific and potential tropical cyclone 9 has also formed in the western Atlantic. Today, September 13th, day 256 of the year, we've now got 57 storms on the tally so far. Day 104 in the Atlantic and PTC 9L is located over the southern Bahamas. Tropical storm warnings out for the large parts of the Bahamas at this point. Day 121 in the Eastern Pacific shows Tropical Storm Kiko no threat to land. Western Pacific has three invests active at 95, 97 and 98W in various parts of the ocean there. And no systems are active in the Southern Hemisphere at this time. It's all quiet here. So the main feature is potential tropical cyclone 9L, winds of 30 miles per hour, pressure 1,009 millibars. It's off the Bahamas at this point. The closest main island is Long Island, 40 miles from Clowns Town, 23.3 north, 74.4 degrees west. This system is likely to become a tropical cyclone soon. In maybe 24 hours, it will become a tropical storm past just south of Grand Bahama, I'm afraid, and then potentially make a tropical storm landfall on the eastern coast of Florida, where it will weaken to a depression, and then we expect it will curve towards the east. A school of thought in the models taking it out into the Gulf still, uh, but all models call for that recurve at the end. Here's the latest uh, imagery. Uh, showing the wind shear amounts near the system itself at this point. But there's no sign of a center of circulation yet, uh, but blow-ups of convection mainly on the eastern side of the storm's main influence. Uh, wind shear amounts high towards the west, where it is right now is marginal, 10 to 15 knots. A wide look at the North Atlantic, you can see it's part of a bigger area of disturbance really in the Atlantic there. The Western Atlantic really lit up with a lot of um, convective tops there. You can also see what's left of Invest 94W which looks abhorrent, 94L sorry, which looks abhorrent at this point and out towards the east another system could form off the coast of Africa. The Gulf of Mexico itself, uh, thunderstorms blowing up over the Yucatan and over the southern part of the Gulf of Mexico. The eastern Pacific, it's quite clear to see where Kiko is at this point, although it's not looking that great on that satellite imagery. We don't have any deep convection blowing up near the center of the system, um, but to the northern side it's got a few tops blowing up at this point. Further west there's another small area there uh, that's tracking towards the central Pacific, and models are hinting that there could be some central Pacific development soon. The Western Pacific also has a very odd situation, uh, disorganized chaos really. Uh, you can see Invest 97W uh, near the bottom right hand side of the screen and the other Invest 95 and 98W which is part of that massive system there, low pressure area in the central part of the Western Pacific and it's still uncertain where they're all going to end up going. The Australia and South Pacific region looks like this, uh, still being tracked locally is uh, a disturbance there near the Sol Solomon Islands, very little has changed with that in the last 24 hours. And in the Indian Ocean we've got a few blow ups along the coast of Andhra Pradesh and Odisha like there was yesterday and a few thunderstorms inland in India. Sea surface temperatures along the western coast of Mexico, very warm, 30 degrees plus. Where Kiko is, it's around 28 or 29. Gulf of Mexico piping hot, waiting for any storm to cross into there. That would be not great. Uh, the western part of the Atlantic still fairly warm, even after Dorian. The coldest spot near the northern part of the Bahamas is still around 28 degrees Celsius. The Indian Ocean, warm in the equatorial regions. A little bit cooler as it's been for some time further north still 28 degrees quite widespread and the western pacific very warm again and one or two little cold pools from recent typhoons but generally it's 28 degrees or higher all across the ocean and i think we'll see quite a few storms on the way so this is imagery of tropical storm kiko uh, it's not looking that great uh, quite elongated north to south and the eastern side looking a little bit bare. You can sort of see the inner workings of the storm on this imagery as well. The center of circulation quite clearly there. The tropical storm force winds, that certainly, certainly isn't a surprise. And this is PTC 9L. Uh, this is hybrid visible and uh, water vapor imagery in the latest frames. That's why it gets dark towards the end because we've entered nighttime now in the region. Uh, but you can see that convective area bursting up 
on the eastern side of where we would expect to see the center of the system. Now that, when that center does form, that could change everything in terms of this storm's trajectory, uh, just as it did with Dorian. So here we are right now, the next name on the Atlantic naming list is Umberto. In the Eastern Pacific, we're looking out next for Lorena, and in the Central Pacific, it's Ima. In the Western Pacific, the next name on the list is Papa, could be any of those three invests, and the North Indian Ocean's next name is Hika. There is one hint from some models that there could be a North Indian development in the next week or two. You can find Force 13's outlets at the website force13.com with the latest our YouTube page, search Force 13, subscribe if you haven't already, and you can also find us on Facebook and Twitter under the same name. Our next Tropical Weather Bulletin will be tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.